Hello everyone and welcome to our show, Miltamed Cosmetics Education. Except today we won't be talking about a cosmetic. Please don't tell me we'll be talking about NFTs. I'm so sick of hearing about NFTs and the metaverse as if we know anything about it. No, we're going to be talking about a problem that I've had since grade school. My allergy to mint. That's weird. Is that an actual thing? I guess there's weirder allergies out there like an allergy to touch or cold. So what do you use to brush your teeth then, Margarita? Exactly. For the past 25 years, I've been using Tom's, Tom's of Maine Silly Strawberry Toothpaste. <laughs> I was really embarrassed about it as a kid to still be using a children's toothpaste past 10 years of age. And it was one of the main reasons I didn't, didn't go to camp, that the other kids would see my toothpaste. That's the main reason? <laughs> no, I hate camping. But it was inconvenient and stressful as a child to be allergic to mint because my mother, she didn't believe me. She thought I was just being a brat. So in the, late, in the late 90s and early 2000s, if the stores were out of Tom's Silly Strawberry and before my, my parents uh, started using uh, internet shopping to any great extent, I was out of luck. What happens if you eat mint? I don't eat mint anything, but if I have to use the toothpaste, uh, two, three or four times, it'll be okay, though it does burn a lot. After that, I may get a rash. I looked it up online and it just says that an allergy to mint is uncommon. No freaking duh. Two years ago, an interesting story happened involving Tom's main silly strawberry that I would like to share. Here are the inactive ingredients of silly strawberry before and after 2020. The strawberry flavor is just called natural flavor. Just FYI, toothpaste is considered a drug, not a cosmetic, which is why it has active and inactive ingredients listed on the back. In 2020, Tom's came out with a new formula for this toothpaste. They still call it strawberry, but actually added a bunch of fruit flavors. I didn't mind this new taste, but other people were disgusted, like this person who's allergic to citrus. This person suffered in pain for weeks, with which I totally sympathize. But you think he or she might have connected the dots a bit earlier? So many people said their kids hated it. 2020 version is yuck. Changed formula is bad. Messed up a good thing, etc, etc. Wow, I wish I could have tasted it to check this out for myself. I think they're over-exaggerating about running to the faucet and washing their tongue out. In fact, I like the citrusy version better than the old one. Not because of the taste, but because of the formulation. Tom's of Maine Silly Strawberry, the classic version, has the least foaming surfactant system I've ever encountered. It starts dribbling out of my mouth after 30 seconds, and I like to brush my teeth for a while. The 2020 version had a decent surfactant, or rather, I guess it just had more surfactant, since both versions use the same one, sodium lauryl sulfate. Yeah, in 2020, it was placed in front of carrageenan and natural flavors, while the classic version has it at the end of the formula, which means it's in the lowest amount of all the ingredients. If there's less surfactant than natural flavor, then I'm not surprised it dribbles. In the same year, or thereabouts, possibly in response to Tom's bad reviews, but I have no idea, CVS launched their own version of a children's strawberry toothpaste. I really like this toothpaste. It forms, foams nicely. The surfactant is also at the end of the ingredient list, but I guess they're still using it in higher concentration than Tom's, or it just works more synergistically with the overall formula. Just to compare, CVS is not using a sulfate-based surfactant, but a sarcosinate. This is considered more natural or bio-based and is another point in favor of CVS. A lot of people don't like sulfates, so this is a great option for them. Also, check out my blog article on sulfates in the link below. I would choose CVS brand over Tom's any day, but unfortunately, now that Tom's has brought back the classic version, I think CVS isn't really selling this anymore. There, there may be a few tubes left in California or online, but maybe this is it for CVS Health Strawberry Toothpaste. Luckily, or maybe not, I miss the old days, it's not the early 2000s anymore, and there are other options available online. What this story goes to show is that companies do sometimes listen to consumers and change their products, because Tom's of Maine Silly Strawberry now says it has the original formula. Yay! Not so much for me. I did try the one with the unicorn, 
and it's disgustingly sweet. Maybe now you can formulate your own toothpaste margarita. I looked up a fluoride source on Amazon and there's only one and it's suspicious looking. I don't think regular people can buy it. At least now I know I should not get you any mint cookies. <laughs> well, thank you for watching.